Hello, Gauntlet community. My name is Robert Warburton. I go by Lashiel on the forums and the Slack group. Um, tonight, I had the great fortune to participate in a Monster of the Week game run by Tyler Lomanak. Um, it was a lot of fun, and because it's almost Halloween, I decided to get a little fancy and do some cool green screening and stuff for my character. Um, everybody kind of liked it and asked me how I did it, so I thought I would make this little video and show you guys how I created this thing. It's very easy and almost free. I mean, 20 bucks worth of green screen material and you are good to go. Uh, the software is open source and free download, so let's get on with it. Um, first off, the reason I got into this, I've been doing green screening for about three days. Um, I didn't like how my webcam was like 16 by 9 uh, and everyone else had it was a 4 by 6 or whatever the, the smaller square aspect ratio is. I wanted to figure out how to change that and I kind of went down a rabbit hole and figured out how to do this stuff and been having a lot of fun ever since. So all you need is some free software and a camera. Um, let's get started with this. Uh, first off, let me show you what I did. So this is my zombie screen. Uh, I've got my little lower third tag for my character, uh, my green screen camera, and then a background image. Um, I created a dice screen. So when the uh, party had to roll or when I needed to roll, I could pull this up and show what I was rolling on the uh, Roll For Your Party app, which is really awesome. Um, then I have a sort of ambient spooky background. This is the main one I use because it's not very busy. It's not like making a lot of motion when I'm not actually speaking. I didn't want to distract from everybody. I don't think I actually use this one. I don't remember what I set it up for. Then I've got just some still images that are uh, you know, reminiscent of the uh, environment that our characters were, you know, investigating, which was like an old spooky jail. Um, so I just change these around every once in a while. I'd switch to the dice roller when I was rolling dice, and when I go on a break or whatever, I wanted to throw in a little splash and throw this guy up, which is a little fun. Uh, the zombies behind me are actually a DVD running in my uh, computer's DVD player, sourced to the back image. So we'll show you how to do all that. But first, let's show you what software we need. So um, first off, you're going to need is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is open source. I believe it's definitely a free download. Just go to obsproject.com and download it. I believe it's available for all your major operating systems. Uh, it's really powerful. Uh, it's all you need if you want to do YouTube videos and stuff, but if you want to actually broadcast this stuff out to uh, Google Hangouts, you're going to need one more piece of software, which is a virtual camera plugin for OBS. You can get that from GitHub. It's called CatX Fish. Uh, it's the OBS virtual camera. Just go there, hit the release page, uh, download it, install it. It's real quick, real easy, and it works fantastic. So, uh, once you have your OBS software installed and your virtual camera installed, you need to set up your scenes. Uh, all you really need is one. Um, I set these up and then put hotkeys on them so I can use my function keys to change between them as I as I wanted to, um, which I thought was really cool and very easy to do. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, your first palette over here are your scenes. Uh, you can select between them with a the mouse, or like I said, you can set up hotkeys. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Once you have a scene set up, you have sources. Now, whatever is on the top, the very top level item, is what appears over everything else on the screen. Kind of logical. So my Alec Reed, if I turn that off, now you can see what else is on the palette. I can turn off my HD camera, and I can then, of course, turn off my zombies. And I can bring them back in the same order or in whatever order I want. Uh, over here is your audio mixer, uh, because I don't want the zombies moaning or my computer beeping and saying, you've got mail or anything like that. Um, I have all my audio sources turned off except for my microphone. And in this case, my microphone is actually plugged into the other computer which I'm using to record this so that we'll have that mirror on mirror on mirror on mirror thing going on. We don't want that. Um, your transitions let you change how the transition happens between your scene switches. Uh, I didn't really do anything with that. Over here you got uh, settings, controls, all that. And then an important one is your settings. 
uh, primarily your video settings. This lets you set your canvas size and the output scale size. Now for the, um, the Monster of the Week game, I used 920 by 720, which I think gave a high resolution and a really optimal aspect ratio for Google Hangouts. It looked really nice and it matched everybody else's screen size. So uh, you can go lower, you can do like the, the 420p and it still looks nice, but I like this resolution and my machine's fast enough to handle it, right? So do that under settings. Now, setting up your, your sources is actually really, really easy. Now let's set up a brand new one so I can show you how to do that. First, set up a scene, call this SN, SN Gauntlet. Right, so now I have a blank canvas that's my screen size. The first thing I want to add in is my HD camera. So I'm going to add a source, but I have a video capture device, and we're going to add a new video capture device. We'll call it New Video Cam. Right? So once I add the, the video capture device, I need to tell it what capture device I want. In this case, I want my HD Logic H, Logitech HD Pro camera, the same one I was using for the other video source. I want to leave everything else default. I don't want to change anything. Boom. And now that that's in there, it should show up. Oh, you know what? It's because it's actually attached to the other video source. So that's how you do it. But I'm going to kind of remove that for a moment, and I'm going to put... I guess you can only have one camera attached to one video source. So we're going to just use that one, right? And the way we get the green screen effect, that's called a chroma key, that's a, a, a filter. So you just, once your camera's in there, select it, right click, hit properties. I'm sorry, not properties. Hit filters, and here's my green screen effect. Let's delete that. Boom. Now you can see my green curtain hanging behind me. Hobby Lobby, 20 bucks. You know, I got two big pieces of green film and I, I thumbtacked them up to my wall. Real easy. <laughs> uh, the wife will kill me if I do that too much, so I'll probably get a curtain rod or something here. So you add a filter, which is called Chroma Key. Call it whatever you want. Green screen. And then I just leave all the default settings. You can use a blue, magenta, or custom color for your background. Uh, green is industry standard. It seems to work really well. Uh, with my current lighting situation and the, the default settings, there's still a little bit of a, a green halo around me. Um, with a little bit of experimentation, I can probably get rid of that. Um, it doesn't show up super well on a lot of my backgrounds, so I didn't really worry about it. But yeah, you can edit all these uh, settings and kind of, you know, get it wherever the hell you want it. Boom. So now I've got my chroma key in the background. Uh, I'm cut out because the green screen behind me is now the same color as the background. I can then size it to however I want it on my canvas. And in this case, I'm not going to put a lower third. I'm just going to throw up a background image. And let's go up and throw up a picture as our next one. So we're going to do an image. And um, let's do a new one. And we're going to browse to our image. And if we go to, let me go to my desktop and role playing games, Gauntlet, Monster of the Week game, and then I've got image screens. Um, whatever that is, I don't know. Oh, it's just a cool map. Okay, so put that in there. Now, this image is on top of my my picture. I don't want that. So we just drag it down in the stack so it's under my picture and then we can scale it out so it's you know filling up the whole screen or, or you know whatever you want to do with it. And that's pretty much all there is to doing an image. Uh, videos are the same way, it's a different kind of source. Let's add in our uh, zombies. Uh, first I have to launch my PLC which is my little DVD playing program, and open disk, and select my DVD, and play. And now that's right, I just moved it off screen. Um, now I'm going to add that as a source. So I'm gonna add a window capture, a new window capture, call this new zombie. 
okay and that it actually automatically realized what I wanted to use which is my VLC di digital video player hit OK and again I have to move it behind me or I can move it behind the image let's actually move it up in the image and then we're going to select it and we're going to scale it so we don't see the the, the player controls we don't want to see that and so we just scale it up a little bit to make it look nice and that's all there is to it now if you wanted you can add more images some dice or a web screen let's see let's do a uh, browser source um, existing and this is a dice roller which we you know we could put that over here wherever we want it um, get as creative as you want with it this is about, about all there is to it um, each scene gets set up differently with different settings um, but they all have sources you stack them set them up and once you get them where you want them you just simply lock them down so you can't accidentally drag them that's really all there is to it uh, with that you can download those little video clips um, off of YouTube or whatever source where you want to get video loops uh, make your own or what have you um, you can pipe straight video into the background you can run browser pages images there's all sorts of different sources you can do multiple cameras uh, uh, recorded video however you want to do it that just scared the hell out of me <laughs> okay that's about all I got for you uh, if you have any questions um, feel free to email me or chat me up in the slack group um, happy Halloween everybody